welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are having a great day. As you can see, I'm still wearing the same outfit from my previous video, which was my Hank and Henry unboxing their first box. Um, I think they're doing pretty good. Um, but you're here to see this. This is my Ipsy Glam bag, my regular bag. Um, I've already unbagged my um, regular bag. Not my regular bag, my Ipsy Glam bag. So, um, while I get into this, let's, uh, let me tell you a little bit about Ipsy. Ipsy is a monthly subscription that costs $10, roughly. Um, you do have to pay for tax. And, um, you get five sample deluxe and or full-size products in this box, in this orange thing, for $10. They have started, which I finally got off the wait list, so that was my glam bag before. That is $25 a month, and you get five full-size products. Um, you are able to add on to the regular bag or the glam bag. You can add on to three items. Uh, full-size items are $12, and the deluxe samples or sample size products are $3. Um, I did get a few items uh, in this bag for those samples, and I will set those off to the side. Hopefully, I can figure out which is which, because I've got a lot of stuff outside this bag. Um, here's what it looks like, but I've got a few items that I um, added on. Oh, there it is thought there was something else still in there. Those are my add-ons. So, um, we'll start with the bag. I've got a couple items here outside the bag. Um, this is what my bag looks like this month. It's this reddish-orange bag. Um, I actually like that. Here's their little top. It looks like a little Tetris piece. That's cute. Got the Ipsy logo here with Tetris on the other side, because they did do a collab this year with, not this year, this month with Tetris. So, um, let's get started. I'm going to open up this bag. Actually, I'm going to set the bag aside. I'm going to do the things that are sitting outside the bag. Um, I've got two masks here from a uh, pharmacy. One is a high, this is a hydrating one. This is a brightening mask. Um, it's a hydrating and brightening coconut gel sheet mask. Both masks in this set are formulated from hydrating coconut water. They're packed with hyaluronic, hy hyaluronic acid and cucumber extract. Cucumber extract is really good at, especially, you know, everyone puts those cucumbers on their eyes. It's soothing and calming. Um, and it does moisturize your under eyes a lot. And they're infused, the brightening mask is infused, which one is that? That's this one. Is infused with purple broccoli extract to help brighten, firm, and lift. And these masks are supposed to fit. So we will see. Um, I like masks, but my only complaint with some of them is they don't fit my face. Um, either they... I get them to fit around my eye, but then they don't fit around my nose or my mouth very well because I'm trying to get it under my eyes, so I prefer it for my eyes to fit. But we'll see. And the next item I've got here outside of my bag, um, I'm trying to look for it, is a, the collaboration with Ipsy. It's their Tetris brush, blending brush, it's the blending brush, the Ipsy collab. As you can see from my thing here, it's made in China, and this is what it looks like, kind of square around the edges, it's got red and blue running around the outside, um, what does this say? It is a one-of-a-kind blending brush, was created in partnership with Tetris. And whether you're creating a neutral, bold, or a smoky eye look. The ferrule is a bright turquoise color. That's this here. 
and it will look beautiful in your brush jar. I'll see to that. It looks very plasticky and cheap. It says the ferrule is aluminum, and this is plastic, and it's got synthetic hair. I mean, it feels nice and soft and all of that, but, um, yeah, it looks cheap compared to my other brushes that look pretty well put together, but we'll see. So the next item I have here, let's open my bag, since I only have three, ba three items in my bag is, oh, I've got, okay, so here is the card for this month, so welcome to the block party, that's the theme for this month, and we're kicking off summer bright, think rainbow hued glam bag stacked with vibrant shadows, shimmering gloss, megawatt highlighters, and more. We even teamed up with Tetris to create an exclusive makeup collection that's bursting with color. Ready to play. Um, okay. So here's my list of five items. And they're telling me, Dipsy, yeah, okay. And the hydrating mask is what I just read to you. The next item I have here is Etat Libre d'Orange. Uh, Paris fragrance. Name of it is I Am Trash. Le Fleur du, du Chai Eau de Parfum. Hope my French is pretty good. My sister, I guess, can correct me and tell me that that was all messed up. Um, I Am Trash. I, I highly doubt that I would reach for a perfume, and that's what I'm going to tell somebody I'm wearing. I'm wearing trash. But here's what the bottle looks like. Um, the notes they say are bitter orange upcycling, apple upcycling, rose upcycling, cedarwood upcycling, and garite strawberry. So here's what the bottle looks like. And it is made in France, like I said. It's a French braid. It says, Beauty will save us from waste. A fragrant resurrection with upcycled ingredients. I don't know what that means. Does that mean they re they recycled it? The first modern perfume of the 21st century. There are treasures in the trash. And we have found them for you. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and sniff. Ew. Ew. You mean to tell me this is all trash? Recycled garbage? Ew. The most wanted scent from, made from the unwanted. Oh my god. I'm afraid to even spray this. I don't want to spray myself with trash. Like I said. Oh, good lord. Ugh. I don't know. But you do get a decent sized sample, if, if you can see that here. It's a pretty decent sized sample. Uh... It doesn't smell too bad, I guess. I mean, I don't want to spray too much of it. I don't want my, because um, I don't know what it exactly is all in this, because it does say fragrance, and then there's nothing in here about it having bitter orange, apple, rose, or cedarwood listed in the ingredients. Um... Yeah, I see alcohol, denatured alcohol, fragrance, water, ex ethyl exyl methozycarbamite, butyl method. Ugh. The fact I can't pronounce anything that is in this perfume. Normally, you get if it has notes of this stuff in it, it normally says it has that product in it. I don't see any ingredients that say it's got orange, apple, rose, cedarwood, or strawberry in it. Oh, now I smell it. Oh, God. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but... Oh, God. <coughs> anyway. Yeah. It's 
a little too strong for me. The next item in here is uh, Pixie by Petra Lip Lift Max in Sheer Rose. This is what it looks like. In the bottle it looks more like a burnt orange shade. Um, I guess I could put it on over this Hank and Henry that I have on since it's just a neutral shade, but I can't get the plastic off the package, which is not a good thing. Come on now. I'm grateful that it is wrapped, but I can't. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, baby. There you go. Got it. So, all the packaging information is on the outside of the package. So now I can't read anything. So what does it say? What does it tell me about this? A single swipe of this peptide-infused lip color gives you a full, soft, and subtle lips. It's made with aloe to heal, jojoba to moisturize, and chamomile to soup. And it is versatile. The sheer rose shade looks killer on all skin tones. Hmm. So let's put it on this and see if I can give my lips a little bit of shine. Because according to this, it's supposed to look good alone or over other lips to give it other lip. <laughs> other lip color to give it a, a touch of shine. It does have a typical a flat applicator. So... Ooh, gosh. Fragrance coming off of this. That is too much. What is in this? Let me see. I printed off from my app everything and the ingredients. Let's see. What is in this? Jojoba seed is like way down on the ingredients. It's even behind fragrance. I don't know about this. I, I also don't know if it's because of that perfume, if that's the problem I'm having right now. Ugh. God. <laughs> it's really bothering my nose. What Something is bothering my nose. I don't know if it is perfume or if it's this, because this reeked when I pulled it out. Ugh. Ugh. Pixie by Petra, please, what are you doing? Oh, all I smelled was like alcohol and, oh God, I can't smell anything at this point. Yeah, that, ugh. I really do wonder if it's the perfume. Maybe I shouldn't have sprayed it. Now I'm like, mm. Holy baby. Alright, I have one item left. And that is by Sugar Cosmetics. Here's what it looks like. It looks almost like a full size here. Here's the outside packaging. Looks like that. It's their Contour de Force Mini Blush. Oh, it's a mini. Peach Peak. So let's pull it out. Ooh, look at that packaging. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. See, Tetris and Ipsy could learn a little bit from this kind of packaging. That other packaging is so bluff. Off my little plastic thing, and here's what it looks like. It's a nice peachy shade. Looks pretty. Looks pretty good. So let's swatch it. You know, I'd like to know where all my makeup is in this bag. So I got this. You can barely see it on my finger. There it is. And I will put this right here. So um, that's a pretty pretty good blends right into my. Sh in my skin color, so this will just give me a little bit of pop of color on my cheeks. Um, and why do they say on the go? Anything from Sugar Comedics can help you pull together. What? Back that up. <laughs> on the go. Anything from Sugar Cosmetics can help you look. Why can I? What? What's going on today? Come on, Terry can help you look pulled together in an instant. This lightweight blush is super buildable, so you can go from a sheer wash of color to a full-on flush. What's best? This peachy pink shade works on all skin tones. Alright, you say it's buildable. Let's try it. 
Mm. I guess it's a little bit buildable, but maybe with a brush it would work better. Um, I mean, I don't know. I paid $10 for a blush, a lipstick, gloss, or whatever you want to call this. I mean, it looks pretty good over that Hank and Henry mess, but it reeks. I got a perfume that's trash, and what am I missing? Oh, a brush. Okay. So, the next items I'm going to get into are the, uh, the add-ons that I added on. I did do three add-ons, and I believe I added on all sample size products, so everything was $3. So I basically paid $9 plus tax, and they ship it with your bag, so you're not paying additional shipping for them to ship this stuff to you. So first item I have here is my First Aid Beauty. It's their Ultra Repair Hy Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. It, it says on the tube that it's safe for sensitive skin, so here's what it looks like. And it says it helps your makeup last longer and look better. This primer locks your look in place all day long. Hyalur hyaluronic acid helps skin appear smoother and plumper. Yes, yeah, sensitive skin. It has colloidal oatmeal, which helps to calm and soothe your skin. So, um, and it says it's also infused with light to light diffusing micro pearls for a subtle luminous glow. Mm -hmm. Let's open her up and see. No safety seal. So it comes out like a liquid. It looks like that. Well, there's what it looks like on the back of my hand. Um, I could try and compare it to this one, but it's got that sugar blush on it. So, um, it's got a little bit of illumination to it. Anyway, I need to get this off. Ugh. I don't know. It just smells like clean. Thank God it doesn't reek. Oh, God. Please make it stop. The next item I got was the other, one of the other lip balms from the Tetris collection. Um, this is the lip balm in L33T. It's got this green top packaging. And the other one was purple. This one is orange. And it's just like the other one. This one has, um, it's limited edition as well. And it's a three-in-one lip balm because it has a moisturizer. It adds a pop of color. As you can see, there's a, what colored core is in this? I think it's a coral core with the shade around it. The other one was purple with red around it. And this has jojoba seed to give your lips some hydration. And it's got a peach kind of shade, sheer shade. So let's see. Let me put this down a little bit before I break it. Ooh, that's really pretty. See, there's that right here. That looks really pretty. Now I wish I didn't put that pixie by Petra crap on my on my sorry for the language. Oh, my leg hurts. I'm sitting cross legged, I'm on the floor. My back hurts, so I'm having a hard time. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Um, I like this shade. This looks really nice. You could wear this by itself, or you could probably wear this to um, just rehydrate your lips. So, I like that. And then the other item I got... Oh, yeah. This is cruelty-free, too. So, that is always a good thing. And then the last item I've got here is uh, Glow for a Cause Lip lip love and flirt i've received um one before in an ipsy bag um i really liked it and i also like the fact that um this one is just like that one but also they give back to um 
to help with cancer research and college scholarship programs to no-kill animal shelters. So they do give back to the community and to other people. Um, it is a cruelty-free product, and that's it. They do uh, benefit, the, they give their money to nonprofit organizations. So this has coconut oil, vitamin E, so it will hydrate, soften, and protect your lips. And it has a sheer pink color, so it gives your lips a natural but your lips look only better. Um, let's see if I can open this. I'm having a hard time today opening things. So here's what this looks like. It doesn't really have a scent, which is good at this point. But again, I can't smell anything. And there's where that is. I put it right here. Do it again. So I don't see pink or anything, but it does give a little bit of moisturization. I can feel that on my arm. Um, but I like this. Um, and it does have, what is in it? Coconut oil, sunflower oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, shea butter, vitamin E, aloe vera, FDNC colors, and why do you have to have flavor? Maybe there's um, a flavor in this. I don't know. But um, I can pronounce everything in this as opposed to that other thing I was trying to read. I couldn't even read the ingredients. It is paraben-free, as I said, phthalate-free. What did I just say? Phthalate-free and cruelty-free. So um, it won't harm you or your animal babies. So um, what do I think about this bag? I, I'm not impressed with this month's bag giving me trash for a scent that reeks. And I don't know, Pixie, this, uh, either the formula is separating or something, or, or something. Oh, my lips is getting everywhere. Either it's separating or there's something wrong. Because this I don't know. I've never had a problem with the Pixie by Petra product, but this reeked. Like I said, though, I don't know if that's because I used the trash. I sprayed that trash all over the place, and if that's what the problem is with my Pixie product, because the Pixie thing stunk. It stinks. It it. Uh. Yeah, I smell an alcohol. That's all I smell is alcohol and a fragrance. I can, ugh. Well, we're not going to be using this. It, it gives a nice sheen of color, but I don't know. $10 for, oh, I spent 20 bucks for this. Um, I don't feel like it was worth it. I got, if I was to look at my bag only, I got this lip that I'm not going to be using. And I got, what was the other thing of makeup? That sugar blush. Where is my makeup? I asked for makeup. I'm getting way too many sheet masks in my bag. I like sheet masks. I like tools. But it's like every other month I'm getting sheet masks. Okay, my rant is over. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I do hope y'all are having a great day. Um, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this bag. Um, did you get the same items as me? Did you get any of the same items as me? Please let me know. Um, I like the idea of collaborating with Tetris, but you could have done so much more with this. Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope that, that you all have a better day than uh, what it seems like I'm having over here with this makeup. But I hope you all are having a great day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.